Welcome learners. In this video titled Tribes of Bihar and West Bengal 4, we will be discussing about the major tribes of West Bengal in detail and also about the present status in the context of census of India. Numerous tribes who reside in the rural parts of the state occupy West Bengal state. These tribes comprises of less than one tenth of the total population of the state. Demographics of tribes at Bengal? As per 2011 census, scheduled tribes constituted 5.80% of the total population of the state. Santals constitute around half of the total ST population of the state. Orans, Mundas, Bumij and Kora are the other major STs having sizable population. Along with Santal, they constitute nearly 76.8% of the state's total ST population. The Lodas, Mahalis, Bhutias, Bedias, and Sawars are the remaining STs and having population of 1% or more. The rest of the STs are very small in population size. Cultural elements of tribals of Bengal? Many of these tribes of West Bengal have adapted to diverse religious practices. Among them, Hinduism with its subdivision of various castes and native tribes has filled three-fourths of the total tribal populace of the West Bengal state. Apart from Hinduism, there are also followers of Islam. Most of the people of the tribal groups of West Bengal speak in Bengali. In fact, these tribes are quite proud of their enriched culture and language. Variant dialects are also equally popular amongst these tribes of West Bengal. They are, in general, confined to the rural belt of the state. However, a small portion of this population has now moved to the urban belt in search for employment and a better lifestyle. Durga Puja is one of the most major festivals of Hindus of West Bengal. The tribal groups also celebrate this festival with much cheerfulness. Some other festivals like Makar Sankranti, Kali Puja, etc. are featured in the whole of tribal society. They have their own tribal occasions and festivals too. The tribes of West Bengal are mostly farmers, but many of them are engaged in some other occupations like carpentry, weaving, hunting, fishing, etc. Rice is the staple food of the tribal people of Bengal and sometimes they include fish, meat, chicken and fowls in their diet. Some of the tribes are adept in art and craft and their created items give evidence to the exclusive tribal arts. Tribes of West Bengal are famous all over the world for its proficiency in art and crafts. They are truly skilled in creating splendors to its outstanding work on carpentry, terracotta, drawings and textile. Earthenware, brass and copperware, needleworks, wall hangings, handlooms, fine muslin and silk cloths, wood statues, cane works, etc. are a couple of examples of handicrafts which have developed from village households of these tribes of West Bengal. Maximum of these craft products embellished the cottage industry of the state and have been spine of the economy of the rural provinces of the West Bengal state. We shall discuss few of the major tribes in details. Santal tribes. The third largest tribal communities of India are distributed in the states of Bihar, West Bengal, Orissa and Tripura. The Santal call themselves Hor, which means man. The community is divided into two groups, namely Deswali Santal and Karwar. As far as the languages of these Santal tribes is concerned, they converse in their own dialect, commonly known as Santali. This Santali language is believed to be one of the ancient languages of Indian subcontinent. It falls into the Munda group of the Austro-Asiatic subfamily, which has no script. Recently, there has been an attempt to create a script called Olchiki, which has been recognized by the West Bengal government. Many Santals are bilingual and speak either Bengali or Hindi. The members of this community have distinct ways of wearing clothes. Their women wear either a sari or a two-piece of cloth. One as a long skirt and other for the upper part of the body. The men wear a loin cloth while at work and a longer dhoti when visiting others. Both men and women are fond of wearing a piece of cloth as a shawl. The Santal women decorate their hair flowers and silver hairpins and adorn themselves with tattoo marks on the arms, neck and chest. The Santals are non-vegetarians and eat fish and meat including pork. Their traditional liquor is rice beer which they brew at home. Fair and festivals also a part and parcel of the culture of this Santal tribal community. The celebration of festivals like Karma and Makar Sankranti is done in an elaborate manner. 
dancing, singing and drinking commemorate several other socio-religious ceremonies like birth, marriage and also death. The traditional occupation of the Santal community was hunting and gathering. Now their primary occupations are settled cultivation and wage labor. Oran tribes? Orans are considered to have the second largest population of tribes in Bihar and Jharkhand. Efficient particularly in tea garden works, Orans are believed to have settled in the Chotanagpur plateau centuries ago. Orans speak Kurk language which belongs to the northern subgroup of the Dravidian family of languages. They use the Devanagari script. Majority of the Oran tribes are Hindus and are religious minded people. They worship gods and goddesses but a great number of these tribes have adopted Christianity. In the ancient days, this community used to follow Sarna religion. Festivals have been a part of life for tribals since ancient time. Sarhul and Karma are the two main important festivals of these tribals. They are also very fond of music and dance. Karma, Jadur, Dasai and Kaga Parva are their most favorite dances. Traditional instruments like Nagara, Kartal and Mandar are still used by these people. Orans are further divided into subcastes like Kudas and Kisans who follow patrilineal family customs. They are patrilocal people. Either the husband or wife can seek divorce. They have nuclear or extended families. The marriage takes place at the bride's place and it is consummated at the groom's house. The dead are generally buried and sometimes cremated. The Oran women tattoo their bodies in intricate symmetrical emblems, which they make according to their affiliation with certain totems. To most of the Oran, the economic importance of forests has considerably been reduced due to its extensive destruction. Only who live near to forests have some degree of dependence on it. They are mainly settled cultivators and also work as wage laborers and industrial workers. A number of Orans are engaged in salary jobs in government and private organizations. The Orans, especially Christians, are a well-educated group. This is due to the presence of schools even in the remotest of areas. The modern system of medicine has not completely replaced the traditional medicinal system. Their attitude towards family planning is not favorable. Firewood and dry leaves are used as fuel. For the irrigation of cultivable land, they depend on rain. The cultivators use organic manure as well as chemical fertilizers and insecticides. Essential commodities are available through fair price shops. Munda tribes? The name Munda is of Sanskrit origin. It means headman of a village. They believe that they are the descendants of Singh Bunga, the supreme god. The Munda, an ancient people, also lent their name to the language called Austroasiatic or Mundri or Kolerian, which is one of the four language families of India. The Devanagari and Bengali scripts are used by them. The Munda of West Bengal or also known as Manki have several groups. They are distributed in the districts of Midnapur, Purulia, West Dinajpur, Malda, Darjeeling, Jalpaiguri and some adjacent districts. They prefer adult marriage but there are also cases of child marriage. Among them the common mode of acquiring a mate is through negotiation. Other modes resorted to are mutual consent, elopement, service, intrusion and exchange. Monogamy is the common form. Junior levirate and junior serorate are allowed. The munda are patrilocal. Divorce is permitted and either women or men can initiate it. The munda women have a role to play in the economic, social and ritual activities. The marriage is solemnized at the bride's house. They bury the dead and observe the customary pollution up to nine days. Bumich tribes. In the western district of West Bengal, there are prominent groups of Bhumijas, although numerically they are considerably behind the Santals and Bauris, they live in the territory between the Kasai and Subarnareka rivers. In olden days, they probably had settled north of the Kasai, possibly right up to Panchakot, but were pushed back by the Aryans, represented by the Kurmis. Their present area of settlement is spread across Dalbum, Barabum, Patkum and Bagmundi. While those living nearer to Chotanagpur Plateau still retain linguistic links with Mundri, those living deeper east have adopted Bengali as their language. In the Dalbum region, they are completely Hinduized. During British rule or sometimes even earlier, many of the Bhumijas became Zamindars and some even secured the title of Raja. Others were called Sardars. However, all of them having climbed the social ladder proclaimed themselves to be Kshatriyas in keeping with the trends in the region, ignorant of their rich contribution to the tradition and culture of the region. Kora tribes? West Bengal state houses Kora tribes who are found everywhere in the region. 
As per the recent survey conducted in the region, these Kora tribes constitute 3% of the total population of the tribes in India. Although these Kora tribes are quite small in numbers, these Kora tribes have got cultural and traditional heritage. Most of the Kora tribes converse in the Kora language, which falls under the category of Mundri language family group. In this state, the Kora tribes have rightly adopted all the religious customs and practices of Hinduism. Due to their adaptation of Hindu culture, some of their original practices have been lost. The word Kora has got a significant meaning. It signifies earth digging. So it becomes quite obvious that the profession that these Kora is related to cultivation. To cope up with the increasing demands of the modern society, these Kora tribes took up jobs like sharecropping, wood carving and also various construction works. Lohara tribes? Apart from West Bengal, the Lohara tribes are scattered in some districts of Jharkhand namely Singbhum, Santal Paragna, Ranchi, Hazaribagh and Palamu. Being the artisan tribal community, the Lohara people are adept in iron craft making. The Lohara tribal communities earn their livelihood by getting employed in different occupations. Some of them are shepherds, many of them rear cattle and have developed the expertise of weaving exquisite baskets. Iron smelters also are found in Lohara society. With a touch of their skillful hands, beautiful iron products can be carved out from raw and hot iron bars. These Lohara artisans have special tools for carving. The houses where these Lohara tribes live in to bear the reflection of their artistic acumen. Some of them, however, practice the typical occupation of any other Indian tribe, namely cultivation. The Lohara tribe of West Bengal have a plethora of festivals. Some of the festivals are either feated at individual homes or they are feated as community feats. All the religious festivals are commemoration of worship of various folk deities. The reason for worshipping these deities is to appease them and seek their blessings. Rituals and social ceremonies are also no less in numbers. Rituals of Lohra tribes mainly center on conservation of nature and also booties, which actually support their livelihood. Festive mood gets heightened with incorporation of beautiful dance forms and joyful songs. Lohra tribes of West Bengal are one of the notable tribes that have occupied a major position in this state. The culture and social tradition of Lohra is such that they have got huge similarities with that of all the other tribes with whom they live in close proximity. Festivals, dance, languages, rituals, music, handiworks thus becomes a style mark of the tribe's unique heritage and cultural tradition. Bhutia tribes Bhutia tribes, one of the prominent tribes residing in West Bengal are mostly found in hilly districts of West Bengal including Darjeeling and Kalimpong. These Bhutia tribes have crossed various passes of Himalaya region. These tribal groups are also known as Lachin Pass or Lachung Pass, which connotes the meaning dwellers of Lachin or Lachung respectively. Moreover, the Bhutias residing in Sikkim are known as Dengzongpa, meaning the inhabitants of Dengzong, which is the Tibetan name for Sikkim. The aristocrats of the Bhutia tribes were called Kazis and they were an essential part of Chogyal monarchy. The Bhutia tribes generally speak in Sikkimese language. This language has got similarity with some of the foreign languages. Moreover, Nepali language is widely spoken by quite a number of Bhutia tribes. Apart from these, these tribes also speak in Hindi, Bhutia, Lepcha and English. The Bhutia tribes are mostly farmers producing several vegetables and fruits. Some of them also have developed expertise in weaving. Woolen shawls are popular in various markets of West Bengal as well as its nearby provinces. Another occupation of the Bhutias is breeding yaks and sheep. They are followers of Tantric Buddhism. In fact, they follow all the rituals and rites related to the sect with great reverence and enthusiasm. Festivals and fairs are an integral part enriching the culture and tradition of the whole of the Bhutia tribal society. The majority of these Bhutia festivals or any of their joyful functions hold religious Buddhist significance. Amongst the main festivals of Bhutia tribes, the Losar and Losung festivals are worth mentioning. The Bhutia cuisine comprises of rice, which is their staple food. In fact, they are amongst the conventional rice eaters. Other dishes include fried vegetables, animal meat including pork and beef. On special occasions, however, these Bhutia tribes consume mutton or chicken. Amongst the specialities of Bhutia tribes are momo, steamed meat dumplings and also tupka noodles in broth. The Bhutias prefer to consume a special drink called chang 
or chiang, which has ingredients like fermented millets or barley and is consumed in a bamboo container known as tongba. In social or religious occasions, they prefer to have milk tea with sugar or butter tea. Amongst Bhutia tribes of West Bengal, marriage is held in high esteem. Usually intermarriage within their clans is prevalent. The Bhutia tribes also follow a very hierarchical structure of selecting both bride and groom. What is significant to note is that discrimination amongst clan is widespread and marriage outside the community of Bhutia tribes is not at all entertained. The costumes of the Bhutia tribes are a traditional cloak type dress called Baku. A cotton or silk belt is tied on the waist. Moreover, the male group of this tribe wears Baku teamed with a loose trouser and the women wear Baku with Honju that is a full sleeve blouse. They also wear a multicolored woolen cloth called Pangden in the front part. This garment is designed with colorful geometric designs. This is generally worn by the wedded women. The women folk put on different jewelries of gold, mainly gold trinkets. The Bhutias build their house in a particular manner. Their houses are known by the name of Kim, which are of rectangular shape. Mali tribes. Mali is the name of a tribe of India. It is a scheduled tribe of the state of West Bengal and Jharkhand. They mostly reside in Santal, Paragnas and certain other regions of Jharkhand and in the adjoining areas of West Bengal. Their population is dwindling. Mali people traditionally earned their livelihood by selling articles made of bamboo. Some typical articles made by them are machi, a small bench, umbrellas, soup used in kitchen to remove dust from cereals, sop and chatai for lying down and sleeping, rain cap, special cap covering head and upper back for protection from rains during work. Mali people typically have a tattoo of their name on their hand. Present scenario of tribes in West Bengal. As per 2011 census, the demographic profile of the tribes in Bengal shows that the sex ratio of total ST population in the state is 999, which is higher than the national average of STs, 990. The sex ratio among Bhutia is the highest among the major STs but the child sex ratio is low among them. Bedia has recorded the lowest sex ratio of 973. The situation is just the reverse among the Bedia. Among all STs of Bengal, the literacy rate of 57.9% of the population has been recorded as literate, which is lower than the national average. The male literacy rate of 68.2% and female of 47.7% show a gender disparity in literacy. Of the 10 major STs, Bhutia has recorded the highest 77% and soured the lowest 35.5% of their respective population attending educational institutions. In West Bengal, merely 8.4% of total literates among STs are having educational level above matriculation. The Bhutia with 26.1% are well ahead among the major STs in this regard. What participation rate? In 2011 census, 47.4% of the ST population has been recorded as workers which is close to the aggregated national average of STs, 53.9%. Of the total workers, 57.9% has been returned as main workers and 42.1% as marginal workers. WPR stands at 43.7% among females, is slightly lower than males. Gender disparity, however, is paramount in the category of main workers. 78.3% males and 49.9% females have been returned as main workers. The percentage of female marginal workers is more than twice than that of male. Industrial category wise of the total ST main workers, 23.7% have been recorded as cultivators and 45.1% as agricultural laborers. The Mahali are ordinarily involved in non-agricultural activities with only 5.3% of their main workers in cultivation and 19.6% as agricultural laborers. Marital status. The distribution of ST population by marital status shows that 46.89% is never married, 46.29% currently married, 6.04% widowed and 0.54% divorced or separated. The Santal has recorded the highest 56% of their total population as divorced or separated, while it is the lowest among Oran, which is 0.5%. For all STs, 2.6% of the female population below 18 years, the minimum legal age for marriage is ever married. Religion Of the total, 
ST population, Hindus are 73.9% followed by 6.49% Christians, 4.1% Buddhists and merely 0.5% Muslims. Conclusion We started the unit with an introductory note on the tribes of Bengal. Next, we discussed the demographic profile and cultural elements in the tribal life of Bengal. Alongside, we tried to have an insight into the major tribes of Bengal. Eventually, the discussion ended with a brief on the present scenario of the tribes in the context of census of India. Thank you.